against the Patriots. So with that, let's get you out to the stadium. Standing by tonight are our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. CA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Tonight, we kick off week three with a great Thursday night matchup between the Houston Texans and the New England Patriots. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Patriots team entering play. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Texans, an early season tilt. And when it's an early season tilt, should be ready to roll. Well, let's face it, the aches and pains haven't really set in yet. And both teams eyeing a really good start to get things going. It's the first weekend of autumn, and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. This one fielded at the five. <laughs> and not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. They'll be led out by their quarterback in his fifth season now out of Arizona State. It's Brock Osweiler. There's been plenty made about his background as a big-time basketball player coming out of high school. But it's the reasons why that I focus in on the footwork and his size Having those feet, ability to move around, slide in the pocket, throw on the run, that's helped make him one of the top quarterbacks in the league. On first and ten, it's Osweiler. And incomplete to open things up. Offensive starters here. Wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins, a talented, talented wide receiver. And he's still looking for that ultimate recognition. He wants to be mentioned with the best receivers in the game. His numbers suggest that we should do so.
It's the Texans going up against the Patriots. On the call here tonight, let's send it out to our guys in the booth. That's Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, thanks. CA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Tonight, we kick off week three with a great Thursday night matchup between the Houston Texans and the New England Patriots. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Patriots team entering play at early season tilt, and when it's an early season tilt, should be ready to roll. Well, let's face it, the aches and pains haven't really set in yet, and both teams eyeing a really good start to get things going. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Texans, and I don't think from what we saw down on the field before the game, there's any doubt they're ready to roll. They pass the eye test, don't they? This team looks fired up and ready to play. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. They'll be led out by their quarterback in his fifth season now out of Arizona State. It's Brock Osweiler. There's been plenty made about his background as a big-time basketball player coming out of high school. But it's the reasons why that I focus in on the footwork and his size, having those feet, ability to move around, slide in the pocket, Throw on the run, that's helped make him one of the top quarterbacks in the league. They come up with an offset on. On the ground, this is Lamar Miller. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. The evaluation process in today's NFL does not take into account as much bulk as it does speed, and that's what we're seeing with the linebacker position. Those guys that can run, they can play at any spot because they can make plays on the opposite side of the line of scrimmage. They'll run it again with Miller. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. And a look at the offense that is hoping to put some points up in bunches here in this one. They come up on a third and 12. On third down, Osweiler. And he's got Fuller. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. It's a gain of five. And that's going to make it fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Here's Jones. A 41-yard punt, nine on the return, and the Patriots take over. So now here come the Patriots to take over on offense. They'll be led out by their quarterback, a product of NC State. It's Jacoby Brissett. for the defense. second round yet no matter what you've got a game plan for him when you're opposing him 